Hello everyone, this is Perco Computer Repairs. In this video, I'll be sharing some troubleshooting tips on how to resolve network issues in Windows 10. These solutions could be applied to either desktops or laptops that are connected via Wi-Fi or systems that are hardwired using an Ethernet cable. So to begin, let's head over to the system that you're experiencing network issues with and we'll jump right into it. So my first tip would be a system restore point. Uh, a system restore point is very underrated and it tends to work in a lot of cases, but a lot of people do not use um, system restore points. Um, so I would recommend using a restore point if you had a connection previously, maybe minutes before an update occurred or uh, a day before an update occurred, uh, because usually during Windows updates, it's very likely that um, a Wi-Fi or a network driver could be installed, which can cause issues with the existing driver. So doing a system restore point would basically allow you to go back in time. It's like a sort of a time machine where um, it, it allows you to go back to a previous date when the system worked perfectly fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how you'd go about um, using that feature. So. Uh, you'd want to head down to your start menu and type in system restore. And uh, you can just go to the one that says create a restore point and then system restore. Um, I don't have any uh, existing restore points. Uh, well, I'm actually on the wrong drive. Uh, so when you go to when you go to the um, system restore option you want you want to make sure that you're selected on the or you you want to make sure that you select the right drive so um, the initial one I was clicked on was the secondary drive that I have but you'd want to make sure you're on your C drive and you'd go to system restore it would bring up this prompt you would press next and you'd have a list of restore points that you can choose from and um, usually you would just choose one when the system worked perfectly fine. So if it started happening yesterday, you don't want to go to a restore point that happened yesterday unless it was um, at a time before the issue started to occur. Uh, but usually if it's a day, you know, a day before the issue happened or a week before the issue happened, that's typically uh, a good place to start uh, to hopefully resolve any uh, driver that might have been installed or software that might have uh, gotten installed that caused issues with your network. So. Uh, that would be my first tip of a um, you know solution to try beforehand. The next solution would be to do a driver rollback. So a system restore is a great option, but it does affect programs. It doesn't affect your files. It does affect programs. So if you installed any programs from the date that you go back to till the current date, um, you know that you're at, it's going to remove that particular program that you installed, but it's not going to remove any files. Um, so uh, again, the next option would be um, a rollback um, if you don't want to restore, you know, do a system restore on your computer. So the way that we would do that is you'd want to head down to your start menu, right click on the Windows icon and then choose device manager from this list. And then that would bring up device manager and then you'd want to find the network adapters on this list and double click on that and you'd want to find your network adapter. So in my case, mine would be the Intel um, gigabyte or gigabit network connection. Um, I actually have two, but I don't want to make things too complicated. Uh, we're just going to assume that, you know, everyone has just one. Most people usually just have one. Not a lot of boards come with two of them connected, but uh, yeah, most would just have one. And usually it would say either Intel or it would be a Realtek network adapter. So. Um, if it says anything along the lines of Intel or Realtek uh, network connection, that's probably your network adapter. So you'd want to go ahead and double click on that. And that brings up the adapter properties. We would want to head to the driver tab. From here, you'd want to go to rollback driver. So this would allow you to roll back the driver um, if the driver was updated recently, either by Windows Update or by you manually. Um, this would allow you to revert the driver um, install that was recently placed on the computer and then it would go back to an older driver and and, and most likely the older driver that you had um, you know prior to if Windows did an update on the system and updated the NIC driver or if you did a, a driver update on your own for the the, the network card in particular um, the previous uh, driver should work so you can try the rollback feature on that and it's going to ask you these few questions. You can, you know, choose to put your reason and then 
you can move forward with that to begin it. The next tip I would have would be doing a network reset in Windows. So the way that you do a network reset is you would want to head down to your start menu, click on the search bar and type in network reset. And this would be the, be the option that we're looking for right here, network reset system settings. You would click on that and that, that brings up this prompt here. This gives you a short description of what it's going to be doing. So uh, just go go a little bit more in detail. Basically, if you have any you know settings that have changed for your network, it would all be set back to the default settings. So if you have any Wi-Fi passwords that you have pre, you know, pre uh, uh, saved in your system, if you have any uh, like static IP set on your, your system. If you have any VPN set up on this, all of that is going to be reset and it's going to be wiped out and everything is just going to be set to the original default settings that it um, had uh, upon you initially booting up your system into Windows 10. So everything is just going to be default. And so if it's any issue that's caused by a network setting problem in Windows, uh, this could potentially resolve the network issue that you're having because it's going to reset all of the network configurations that you have on the system. So the way that you would go about doing it is you would just simply press on the reset now button and it gives you about five minutes to um, reset. You can wait that five minutes or you can just head down to the start menu, right click on the start icon, head to shut down or sign out and then restart it manually and it would have the same effect. It would still reset the network settings for you. So uh, this, you know, would apply for uh, NIC adapters or systems that are connected via Wi-Fi. It would reset all of the settings, all of the network settings. The last troubleshooting step that I would have for you guys in this video would be using a couple of commands in command prompt. So these commands would typically work if you're having uh, an issue obtaining an IP address or if you're having issues with connectivity problems. Um, like disconnecting every few minutes or something like that. Um, you can give these commands a try and they may be able to potentially resolve the issues that you're having. So to get into it, we're gonna head down to the start menu, type in CMD for command prompt. You wanna right click on it and then go to run as administrator. So with the UAC prompt, you press yes, and then it brings up the command prompt. You wanna make sure that it says see Windows System 32 and that will let you know if you're operating as a administrator. If you see it show up as that, that means you're not operating as an administrator. So you wanna make you wanna make sure that it says Windows System 32. So the first command that we're going to enter would be net sh win sock reset. And you wanna go ahead and press enter on that. Once that is completed, the next command that you'd want to put in would be net s h i n t i p reset. Once that one is completed, the next command would be ip config release. That releases the IP address. And then the next one would be IP config renew. You would press enter on that one. And then the next one would be IP config space four slash flush DNS after this one is completed. And there we go. Uh, one tip, you could just press the up arrow and that should refill the last command that you type so you don't have to keep typing the entire command over. So the next one would be, again, IP config forward slash or IP config space forward slash flush DNS. And you press enter on that. And after you enter all of those commands, you wanna go ahead and restart the system for that to take an, uh, take effect. So once you reboot and it gets back into Windows, you can see if you know your internet connection is uh, stable or if you can now achieve a uh, connection to the internet. For those of you who are still having issues connecting or having you know a, a connection to the internet, 
Um, I do want to mention a few more things that you could try uh, if all of the previous troubleshooting tips have not resolved the issue for you. Um, I do want to let you know that um, if you have either a, a model number or a, uh, you know, a custom build that you probably built on your own or if you bought from uh, a builder, um, you could search the model of the system that you have. Um, if you have a custom system, you can search the motherboard to find the uh, board that you, you, you know, the drivers that you would have for that particular board. So, um, for example, um, I have a custom build and my board is an Asus ROG uh, Alpha. So if you have a custom build, you would search the model of your motherboard and it would bring up the board from the manufacturer's website. You would click on that one. Um, this would be the board that I would have. You would go to, once you click or once you search the, the board, it usually brings up the motherboard manufacturer's website and you'll see the name of your motherboard in the title and you would just click on that link. It takes you to the motherboard manufacturer's website. You would head to the support tab on the motherboard page. From here, you would have a number of options. You would want to go to driver and tools. This is just an example, but it's usually about the same for each motherboard website. Um, you would go to driver and tools, you would choose your motherboard or your, uh, your current OS. I would have Windows 10 64 bit and it would bring up the list of drivers for your board. And if you're having a network issue, I would usually recommend installing the LAN driver or the wireless driver, whichever one you're having an issue with. If you're unable to get any kind of connection on your system, like if you only have Wi-Fi, you don't use the, the LAN or you don't have a LAN. Uh, or if you have LAN and you don't have Wi-Fi, you're just you know operating off of either or. If you can't get any connection on the system, you you would likely have to do this on uh, on another system. So what you would es essentially do is you would go to another computer. But, you know, it would have to be a Windows system. You can't really do it on a Mac computer. It's not going to really uh, it's not going to really work. So you want to have another Windows system. You would go to the other Windows computer. You would go to the do all of the steps that I just mentioned here, download the LAN driver, put it on a USB drive, then you'd bring it over to the system that's having the network issue, and then you would install the latest driver that you can find. If you're already on the latest driver, you can try downloading a previous one. Usually they still have, they would have the older one still available on the site for download. So that would be the step for if you have a custom system. Um, so I can give you guys another example for one like gigabyte. Z590, let's choose this one for example. Um, you go to their website, you would go to the support tab, which is here, you'd go to downloads, and same thing. It's sort of the same, it's not the exact same layout, but it's sort of the same concept for each motherboard website. You would download the LAN driver. Um, you can try reinstalling the one that you currently have. If you're already on the latest, you could just try downloading it and then reinstalling the driver. Typically that can resolve a network issue if you're having issues with your adapter. Again, either that be at a LAN adapter or the wireless adapter. Um, this board doesn't have any wireless driver because it doesn't, well, it does have, uh, looks like it does, but it would be under WLAN uh, for wireless, or it may just say wireless LAN when you go to download the driver. Uh, so for another example, for a, a name brand system, like if you have a laptop and it's an HP, uh, and for example, you have an Omen, you would type that into Google, usually it brings up the motherboard or the uh, manufacturer's website for the, the unit. And um, well, it looks like this one is not available, but um, yeah, usually it would be about the same uh, concept. They would, you know, have a support section. You'd go to the support section. You would download the, or you'd go to the downloads, and then you would find the LAN or the wireless driver, whichever one you're having an issue with. Download it, install it, reboot the computer, and see if you're still having the network issue. Um, another thing you can try would be uh, resetting your network router, your network um, router or your, your switch, wherever you have your computer plugged into. Usually you'd want to reset your, not reset, but like restart your network router. So basically what, what I mean by that would be you would find your router, unplug it, 
for about 10 seconds and then you'd plug it back in and that would restart the network because usually it could be uh, an issue with the router. Um, if you're if you're having multiple issues like with different devices, that could probably be the problem. If the issue is isolated to the computer itself, then it might just be the computer. So maybe trying a different port on that router as well could, you know, could probably would would that would I mean that would be a good troubleshooting step. You can try a different port to make sure it's not the port on the router. Maybe even try a different cable to make sure the cable that you have didn't fill. Um, so yeah, those would be additional things that you can try in a situation where you're unable to get a connection to the internet um, so hope those uh, suggestions were helpful for you guys and if you thought they were use, uh, useful for you please leave a, you know, a comment below um, and uh, a like as well and I really appreciate you guys viewing it viewing this video all the way up until this point so thank you guys uh, if you have any questions you know, please feel free to put them in the comments below. All right, you guys have a good one. Thank you.